What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we're going to be working with Android. So I'm going to be covering how to access the device photo gallery so that you can select an image and then display that image using Jetpack Compose. And we're actually going to be using um, a wrapper around Glide in order to display that image using Jetpack Compose. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. And as you can see here, we have a very basic app. It's nothing special, just a box, a column, and then a button. So we're going to add a little bit to that, but not too much. I also want to bring your attention over to the build.gradle. I am running alpha 10, so just make sure that you got that loaded. And then next, we need to make sure that we're going to have the dependency on the new activity result because the on activity result has actually been deprecated. So we need to use the new activity result. So let's go ahead and go over to our browser. And as you can see, we're at this page. All you have to do is Google activity uh, KTX, and then you'll be able to find this first one right here and just go ahead and copy and paste in this implementation right here. So I'll just add mine right here. There we go. And then while we're still adding in our dependencies, let's go ahead and add in the glide dependency. So as you can see, we're going to be using the accompanist, um, repo in order to use this glide wrapper so that we can just do something as easy as glide image. And if you need to be able to find that it's as simple as typing in a company's glide, choosing the first one and going down to glide image right there. So let's go ahead and add that dependency into our app as well. All right. So we got them both in there. All we need to do is sync and then head back over to the main activity. So like I said, the on activity result has actually been deprecated. So we need to do this new um, way of uh, observing activity results. So what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a launcher that's going to handle what happens when we launch an activity result. We're going to specify which type of activity result that we're going to be working with. In this case, it's going to be called get content which means that we want to get like a photo or a video in our case, just an image. And then we need to specify what we're going to do with that URI. So let's go ahead and start writing that out. All right. So as you can see, this is our new select image launcher and it's essentially creating a register for activity result, which is going to take in once again, our get content object specifying that we want to get content from our users, photos or videos. Then we're passed back that URI and we need to observe the state of this URI so that we know that we can attempt to create an image after we get this URI back. So what I'll do is up here, let me go ahead and create a mutable state property that can hang on to our URI. All right. So as you can see, we have our image URI state right here, which is a mutable state of an optional URI. I'll give it null when it starts off. And then all we need to do is say, um, image URI state dot value is equal to URI. So now we're actually going to be able to observe that, that value and we can um, make sure that we're updating our UI based off of that state. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write an if statement that's going to check if our, our, our image URI state has a value that is not equal to null. And if it does, then we can start using our glide image. And just like that, we're able to check if we have a valid value, pass it into our glide image. And it's just as simple as that to display this image. So that should be all that we really have to do in order to kind of set things up. Now we just need to make sure that we're triggering the launch of our, um, of our select image launcher. So over here in our button, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're going to call, um, select image launcher dot launch, and then we need to pass in a string. So remember that this, this specific um, activity request is going to allow us to either get images or videos or both. So what I want to do is I want to specify that I only want to be able to get images. And there we go. We just simply pass in image slash star. So pretty much anything that's in the image folder. And we go ahead and run that and let's see what we get. All right. And here's our beautiful app. So sexy, right? We go ahead and open up the gallery. Bam. We're able to see the user's photos or the, sim the emulator's photos. And of course, you know, we gotta, we gotta get the mittens on the screen. So bam, there you go. So very easy, very straightforward. All we needed to do was like implement the new on activity result, like 
implementation, which is this register for activity result, specify what type of request we're doing, and then we can use Glide image in order to display our image. Very simple and straightforward. So if you have any other um, videos that you would like to have me cover, any other topics, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime, either here on Twitter, DMs are always open, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I appreciate your time. Go out there and keep coding passionately.